This is Ray's Grid, a normal Minecraft world with 99% of all blocks removed. Despite its extremeness, everything is still possible. With the goal of this series to obtain every advancement, item, as well as mob. Watch the series from the beginning with a link down below, as well as learn how you can actually join us in this world. Last time on Raised Grid, we went out and found goats living on the edge, transported them into the nether dimension, where we had several sketchy encounters. But we eventually got them to spawn and the mob zoo, and they helped us get closer for the advancement to breed every mob. We also looked at the Halloween mobs that were collected, and acquired and displayed all the items starting with the letter B through D. Well, let's try to capture a mob. We're gonna go for the cave spider because Sandstorm actually found a special spawner. <laughs> spawner found inside of a mine shaft, and those are quite rare because 99% of the blocks are destroyed, including the spawners. So actually finding cave spider spawner is pretty awesome. And we actually need the spawner in order to get to the spider for the museum. So Sandstorm got a lovely portal that takes us to the location. It should be exciting. <laughs> I've yet to actually see a sp Oh my goodness, it's right there! <laughs> Is this guy dangerous? It's like raining out. Uh, can't they spawn? <laughs> Does anybody have lights? <laughs> Dude, I've never seen one in this spot. I don't think I've seen a single spawner in this world. I think this is the first one. So we actually found a mine shaft that is part of a mesa. So our plan is we have to get one to spawn. Uh, we probably need to trap it in a boat or minecart. And then hopefully we can like get it through the portal and maybe we can just have it follow us all the way back to spawn. I don't know. That seems kind of risky, but I think it's possible, especially if we have a boat that we catch it in. So we got some boats. We're going to try to catch it in that. Uh, we're going to stop the portal because it's producing light. And now we're going to build an overhang because currently they're not spawning because of the sky axis. And then as soon as one spawns in, we'll try to catch it with the boat. Okay, it's looking a bit darker. You can see the spawner really wants to spawn in something, but just can't find a valid place. Hey! <laughs> we just got our first spider to spawn in. Let's see if we can catch it. Oh yeah, it does fit in there. Okay, let's also throw down some light. So now, we're gonna have to get it close to the nether. We're probably gonna make a little room here for it, and then we'll release it onto the other side. Thing is, if we lose it, it's not that big a deal. We do have a spawner, we can do it all over again. Okay, so I'm just building a little box over here on the nether side, and we'll just contain it until we're ready. And once we're ready, we'll release it. And I think we're just gonna try to walk it home. Hopefully, I'll pathfind on that. If you guys want to send it through the portal. Oh yeah, there's a spider. Okay, we got it, nice. Now let's get a second one. That's because for the venture advancement, we actually have to kill one of every hostile mob, and cave spiders are actually one that's needed for the advancement, which is pretty amazing. While we're waiting for night, you guys might notice the mine shaft <laughs> left some of its rails floating. And Sandstorm actually has some extra ancient debris. He wants me to upgrade my tools. But let's upgrade a pickaxe, because I use that the most. Ancient debris pickaxe. I also use my axe, not only for chopping, but also as my main weapon. And once in a while I use the sword, which does have looting on it. Nice. Thank you so much, Sandstorm. Appreciate that. So currently in the advancement, we got 27 out of 34. And after kill the spider, hopefully it goes up. Okay, it turned dark. <laughs> we got ourselves a cave spider. Let's go ahead and kill this and see if we get some help with advancement. Yay! We got 28 out of 34. We're slowly making our way to completion. We only got six more hostile mobs to kill. There's some pretty tough ones. We'll keep working at it. With that one completed, let's bring the first one back to our zoo. Uh, what we'll try to do is get it just to be aggroed on one person. Hopefully, we'll try to do me. And then I'll try to just walk backwards all the way to spawn. And if at any point I feel like I'm not going to make it, I'll just try to catch it back in the boat again so we can restart it. It's on me. I'll remove the boat. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I knocked it back to the portal. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See if we can bring it back again. <laughs> Oh, a despawn. Uh... Okay, we got a second spider. <laughs> oh no, I despawned on this side because no one's on this side. <laughs> uh, oh, that's funny. How about you go get the spider and then I'll stay on this side. I'll be ready to run. Okay, there's a the spider. It's coming after me. Hopefully, it can pathfind. I feel like this is much faster than actually moving with the boat. Like, as long as it's far enough away from it, it doesn't jump. Oh, 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 someone got too close to it. Hopefully I can walk around the corner. Yes, awesome. Okay, so now this pathway, we'll have to catch in a boat once we get to the end of this. And then you'll ride it down to the next layer. 
So go ahead, catch in a boat now, Sandstorm, once it gets up to this edge here. Awesome job. Okay, so it's on you, right? So hopefully I can ride it. Unless it aggro's on me. Let me try to turn this boat around. Okay, stay close enough so it still aggro's on you. And then I'm going to ride it through this hole, and that lines up with part down below. Looks good. And perfect. Now that it's targeting me, we'll have the other guys ride the boat down here on the ice path. And I'll try to stay close enough to the boat so it doesn't switch aggro onto them. Okay, we're almost to spawn, which is awesome. And it looks relatively safe here. Now that we have it here, let's go set it up so we can bring it directly into its display case. So in the bottom of the museum is where the zoo's at. We have a special slot just for the cave spider. So I think it'd be best if we put a portal like right here. So as soon as it comes out, it's right inside of its little test tube display here. We got a portal here. And hopefully when it comes through, it'll end up in here. Okay, so now we got to get the spider over to this side because this is the portal that it wants to hook up with. So just keep it there for now. So it's currently on you, right? So I'll go through the portal. That way the other side can't despawn. Okay, so I'm over here. Can someone uh, break the boat? Okay, there's a spider. Awesome. Come on, spider, come over here. <laughs> you got nowhere to go. Oh, okay. I guess I lied. <laughs> you have somewhere to go. I guess we can we can walk out this way. Oh, oh, okay. And I'm going to close off this. So the guys want to name it Spider Nugget. That's what we'll go ahead and name it. Ooh, we're going to have to actually get out of the boat before I can name it. I'm going to break the boat. You guys close it off. There, here, you guys got some glass too. And pay attention. Now. Wow, you guys are really slow. <laughs> you guys are supposed to close the glass off. Whatever. We'll go ahead and name it right now. I gave you guys glass, not just to hold it. But we got it named. That's awesome. So, Cave Spider completed awesome <laughs> oh it's only gonna get harder from now on guys we got some pretty hard mobs that are left to get but i definitely thought cave spider was gonna be one of the last ones just because finding the spawner is so difficult in the world great job everybody now these other display cases are supposed to have the other neutral mobs we actually have some of these they're just on top of the museum rather than down here so let's fill them in so we do have a lot of our mobs sitting up here on the surface. So let's see if we get these down below in their actual final holding cells. So we can see kind of how full they are. Okay, so the plan is get these mobs into minecarts and then to run rails over to this corner here, then drop them through this hole here and that should take us all the way to the basement. We'll use a lead on as many as we can since that'll be easier than the minecart. Here's all the neutral mobs. Here's the goat. There you go. Harry, close it. It's going to ram you. <laughs> there. Goat is completed. Awesome. Dev got myself another elytra. Now I actually have a spare elytra. This was my only elytra I had since my second one that I got actually lost from death. So I will make sure to keep this spare elytra safe in my ender chest. Now let's get more of those neutral mobs. Let's move the Endermen. We happen to have one captured down here. And Endermen are also neutral mobs. So we'll need some pistons to raise them up and then we'll ride them inside of there. Okay, I got a lever. So it got raised up and now I just drive it in here. And we'll leave it inside of the boat just so we don't have to worry about him teleporting away. <laughs> and Endermen in its final resting ground. I was then called over to check out something. Wait, what is this? <laughs> Maps? Oh my goodness! Dude, it's the entire spawn. That looks so detailed. So we are kind of right beside the iron farm. Oh yeah, right there is the spawn. Okay, and then the moss farm is over here. We got a moth farm over there. Uh, there's a shulker farm. We also got another iron farm. A bamboo farm. Sugar cane farm. Oh, dude, it's so hard to almost read that one. <laughs> Some of these texts are so small. Concrete converter. We got wood farm. Cactus. Village area. There's a honey farm. That's really cool. You can also see the line we made, which marks out the spawn chunks. So if anybody joins the server and they're wondering where stuff is at, <laughs> this is really awesome. They can now see where it's all at. This will be really useful. I then continued with the neutral mobs. <laughs> oh my, let's try and, get, try and get the wolf or my dog into the wolf column. <laughs> it teleported in with the llama. You're not supposed to do that. Come out of there. Not playing games, okay. Come over here. Uh, sit. Okay, we'll lead it directly to the fence so it won't go anywhere. 
Yay, got the wolf completed. Check mark. Now the zoo is really filling out, and we know which ones you still need to find. I'm thankful for everyone who recently joined my YouTube membership. This gets you tons of different rewards, including a special badge by your name in the comments so they stand out from everyone else's, as well as tons of other ones, like getting whitelisted onto these challenge worlds where you can play along with me every Sunday during my live streams. You can learn more by clicking the join button just underneath of the video. And I will see you all in the next episode of Raise Grid.